everyone I am here to show you my altered window envelopes that I completed this morning I'm so excited they look so cute you guys know how much I love envelopes I just love envelopes so um, I found these envelopes in my stash and I don't remember when I got them but I was so excited and I'm like okay I gotta get to work so anyways, I did three envelopes. These will be in my Etsy store, so I will leave the link below. And each envelope, besides having a tag, an alter tag, it has um, some other tags that you can use, like bingo cards and um, ephemera tags uh, that I've designed. So there's just a little mix of them there, okay? So we're gonna start with the first one I did, which was this one here. And these envelopes are huge they're like 12 by like five i think i don't know they're they're pretty big good size envelopes okay and then as you can see i altered them i added little wings on the uh made little fairies i have some sorry silk vintage buttons this one has sorry silk here um, this book uh, pages from the 1880s and I just love how it came out and on the inside we have this adorable adorable inventory tag that I got from Denise and this really pretty um, what is it uh, yarn that I got from Carol thank you Carol and some eyelash trim that I also got from Carol. And then we have a really pretty lady here. And I added um, some parchment paper wings. Some of this um, little measuring tape from Tim Holtz. Vintage lace from the 1940s. Um, I sewed some cheesecloth. Of course I had to sew. And then I did some stenciling in the back. So pretty. And then this one has some little tags here that you can use in your projects. So cute. Okay, and they all have a, a variation of this one here. Um, they'll have a bingo tag they'll have a book page tag okay but um some may vary and so pretty i mean it's just oh love it okay and then the second one i did was this one here i've been hoarding this forever and i just love it and i thought it went perfect since we had boys here and we had a gentleman here I also sewed around, uh, did some sewing here, some um, sorry silk, some uh, distressing there, and these cute little boys, and one is a fairy. And then right here, this is some muslin that I pleated. So pretty. Um, some more distressing with ink and stamping. And then the inside, or I should say the tag. Similar to the other one, um, fairy wings, measuring tape, this really pretty yarn. I love it. I need to get some more of that. Um, little pretty bow here. Some cheesecloth, vintage lace, of course. And some um, stenciling in the back. So pretty. And then this one we have some really cute bingo cards. Uh, we have some postcards. So cute. I love her. <coughs> so it's just a small variation of ephemera. And some of these are not in my uh, Etsy store yet, some of the digitals, but they will be. Okay, 
So here is number two. And then here is number three. I just love it. I love this here. I've been holding on to this forever as well. And um, I just finally was like, you know what? I, I'm i determined to use everything I have now. I'm not gonna hold back anymore. Cause it just makes the projects look so much nicer. And then of course, here's some of that vintage thread. I forgot to mention on the other one, uh, most of the thread I, been using for the last two three months is thread from the 1940s okay these all came from uh, look at how shiny that is really good quality thread okay and then we have this pretty little girl with her little wings even the doggy has wings isn't he cute he's the dog fairy and then we have some pleating here some stamping and then this tag is so adorable little girl and her brother they're so cute i gave her wings as well it's cheesecloth here sorry silk more of that really pretty thread or yarn i should say um uh, one of these vintage pins vintage lace here and some stenciling and then in this one We have that tiny little vintage, uh, vintage bingo card. And then we have this postcard, a book page card or tag. Another postcard that I designed. This cute little girl here, this little tag and this cute little bingo card I designed. These are so pretty. If you don't have a Etsy, you can message me for PayPal if you'd like. Um, you don't have to do it through Etsy, but these will be um, up in my store. So I hope you guys like my project. I really, really enjoyed making them. I just think they just, oh, they're so pretty. I'm thinking maybe even making like a little book the next time with three of these. They will look so pretty flipping through them. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that next time. Um, so that would be my next project. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.